Okay, everyone, I am totally promoting the more natural face um, and natural hair this summer. I'm so lazy that that's my excuse. And plus, the majority of the people who subscribe to me or follow me on Twitter and Facebook have already seen me without makeup in the jungle. This video is going to be on my pet peeves, hair pet peeves. I have so many of them, but I will share a couple with you now and um, save some for later. Save the good stuff for later. One of my biggest pet peeves is the Bump It because it is the most atrocious product ever made on earth. Have you ever seen a girl with a Bump It in? All right. I'm not trying to offend anyone, but it doesn't look good. And either way, you still have to tease your hair. In order for it to look natural, you still have to tease the section before you stick the stupid plastic thing in and put your hair over it. Not to mention, I have tons of hair, and it's still not enough hair to cover the bump it. Don't buy it, throw it away, don't use it. Use your good old teasing brush or comb and follow the instructional video that comes before this, my teasing video. Another pet peeve of mine is bobby pins. My hair is brown, it's dark. Everyone thinks, you know, I can get away with putting a bobby pin in, slapping it in and leaving it there. No. Bobby pin. Okay. Doesn't matter. Try your best to get a bobby pin that matches your hair. Like, if you're blonde, don't rock black bobby pins, please. It's not a good look. It's, it's the same price. It's in the same section. If you're blonde, find a lighter bobby pin. So say you're rocking your hair down and your bangs are just driving you nuts, driving you nuts, and you just happen to be walking around and you want them out of your face. A lot of people will just do this. No, don't do that. There's a simple, easy way to do it. Go find a bathroom mirror, okay? Make sure your hair is parted the way you want it to be parted, okay? My su suggestion is to take the front section of your bangs, part it, okay? Pin it, and make sure it's underneath the front section of your hair. Sometimes your hair will be stubborn like mine is if it's straight. I like to just give it a twirl and that'll give something for the bobby pin to hold on to. And then just clip it in. Make sure it's underneath that section of hair. And then put your hair over. See, no bobby pin in sight. It's cute, it's clean, gets the hair out of your face. You can even style this little piece if you want it to. Another pet peeve of mine is girls with curly hair that's crunchy. Ever, like, do you guys ever remember that style where girls put tons of gel to scrunch or crimp your hair, um, especially girls who didn't have curly hair that wanted curly hair? Tons of, like, you know, like, hard hold gel. Even girls with curly hair trying to keep it from frizzing and, and keeping that shape. Tons of gel. Stop using gel. There's no need to anymore. There's tons of products out there for you. A lot of curling bombs, like Moroccan oil, Carrie is a great curling bomb. Um, girls who want that wave, that beachy wave, go check out my beach video and my new video, one of my new videos with new products, the sea salt spray by Catwalk, which is by TG. Amazing. And my last pet peeve for today is the clip poof. See this clip? This is what we in the industry use to clip hair, to cut, style, blow dry, whatever it may be. This is not a styling item. It's not fashionable, it's not cute, it's not discreet, it's not any of that. And when girls walk around doing this with their hair, <clears throat> it drives me bananas. If you do want that poof, again, go watch the teasing video, tease your hair, tease the front of your hair, and then you can put in a bobby pin or a little like tiny clip instead. Don't use this, please. Those are a couple of my pet peeves. I have tons of them and I can't wait to share more. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I make new videos every Thursday.